Navi versus VNE Sporting in the CWL Esports. Today, Yetis are banned from every player's offensive clan castles, meaning no player can use Yetis inside of their siege machines. But let's kick it off with Gaku and his Queen Charge Lalo. And the first attack is in. Gaku, good luck here with Navi taking on VNE Sporting. And the ban today is Yetis are banned. Both these teams picked Yetis to ban in the offensive side of the clan castles that you use. So no CCs can use Yetis when you're attacking offense. They could have them on defense, but Yetis are never used on defense, right? So we still can see super minions. Both these teams have decided to do that, but this is the Champions War League, the group stage. Good luck with Gaku starting it off with a Queen Charge Lalo. Going in to help pick off this Eagle Artillery. Gonna charge this Queen in towards this multi here. Tunnel towards the bottom. And let's see what he could do. With another balloon down to test for sinking air mines. Moving his way in. He's taking his sweet time here. Queen does step in towards this multi. Look at these openings in these walls. Very interesting. That queen steps directly in as Rocky Loon, Super Minions. He freezes to keep this queen alive. The poison is trying to be down. There's a wall break, which is going to go off to the right side. He's going to have access to the multi-target Inferno now. Kills off the CC. He wants to loop this king into the scatter shot on the left as a battle drill. Royal Champion going in together as this queen will continue her charge to the right side as the Mile has now locked down to her. Drops a skeleton spell to distract the enemy Royal Champion. As that King's ability goes off, freezes her up. That battle drills continue to push through. Look at the value he's getting from this queen, from his heroes. And here comes a couple balloons down to the bottom side. I'll pick off this air defense so that he can send the hound to fly directly across this town hall to potentially pull red air bombs and a tornado trap as he rages. Oh no, he just rages. He doesn't need to take us out all the battle drill. And the dragon rider are gonna secure the town hall. Wow, okay. The Warden ability comes right away to help pick off that Queen. And what an attack. That was absolutely crushing. That battle drill snuck in and made its way to the Town Hall, eventually opening up with a Rage Spell and Gaku smashing this one here, making it look easy. What an attack to start this one off, Gaku. Very, very nice. As the Expos goes around, Headhunters coming through. And this is a crushing three-star with that queen ability intact. Very, very nice attack. Got Exo Danny is up. Good luck to you with a queen charge. He's got a battle drill as well. It's going to be another queen charge, Lalo. Dropping that headhunter onto the defensive king. Taking out this CC. Oh, just a few goblins in here. So, rages this queen up. Headhunter pulls a little bit more of the CC out. Taking out that Rocket Loon with ease. What else do we got inside the CC? More Rocket Loons? Yep, one more. Double Ice Golem. Queen's going to help stay alive with the Rage Up Healers. And now we're going to have to take out these Ice Golems. Drops that Poison spell. As the Battle Drill is going to move in towards this Eagle Artillery. As we got a minion that's off to the right side. That Battle Drill is slowly going in. Going to work onto the Eagle now. Queen's going to get frozen, but the battle drill is going to open up. It's not going to get much more after this. Eagle is going to take it down. Balloons come out and a dragon rider. Okay. As the king's off to the right side, charging this queen into the multi. He's got another two wall breakers to use. Drops it to open up this section. Pulling seeking air mines, really charging this queen deep into the core of this base. We've got that king. He's going to make his way actually to the scatter shot. That was the last wall break, which opens up the right side. It doesn't go any more into the middle here. As the dragon rider is clearing this left side, trying to. It's about to die as the king's ability went off. The defensive queen is there, and here comes the Lalo over the town all to the bottom side. We've got the warden joining in. The hound pops. We got... Do we have any more hounds? I don't think so. As he, He's going to go directly for this town all. He freezes it yet again. The tunnel is active, so he drops Headhunters, drops a Haste, gonna pop the one Belly, protect everything, finds a Tornado Trap, taking out the Royal Champion, or at least attempting to. She goes down, almost, and 
down. She, no, finally goes down. But this core multi-target Inferno is up. The queen's still staying alive here. RC's ability goes off. Pulls some red air bumps into the core. As we got this left side, makes the world champion invisible. She runs all the way away from the core. But the Phoenix is there working on to the multi. And that Phoenix might save the day. The queen needs to stay alive here. Takes out that air defense, which means he's got the assistance of this warden. That Phoenix clears the multi. And look at this. It will work. Morio's base is going down. And Exo Danny getting the three star here. Well done. What an answer. Morio is up next. Morio with a queen charge Lalo as well. Tons of Queen George Lalo's here to start this off as he's got a Log Launcher. Can't put Yetis inside that Log Launcher here. No Yetis in the offensive CC. Not allowed for the special rule in this round. As the Queen's going to make her way to the left. Going to go to the cannon. Make its way off to the ground expo. We got the Rage up Queen here. As the Log Launcher can pick off this multi-target front of that Queen... The ability is forced very early, unfortunately. Finds a giant bomb. So that log launcher takes a lot of damage, but it continues to... Okay, it takes out the defensive rage. Out comes super miners, since he can't put yetis in there. So the super miners are going to go in towards and go to this ground expo. Finds a giant bomb, pulls out some of the CC, rages up this queen. She's almost dead. He's going to force a freeze. He drops the poison. Super is hitting this queen. He might die. He makes her invisible, and he's keeping her alive somehow. Ah! Uh, holy! Wow, I would have lost my queen. But he manages to keep that queen alive. That's where you would rely on the queen ability. But, no, this ground expo is low health. And that king came back to life on the far right side. As the queens continue her push left. We're gonna see a royal champ- Yes, we do. Royal champion into the ground expo. She will make her way to the multi-target inferno as the Lalo cutting across into the queen, into the scatter. He rages up this queen to keep her going. Royal Champion now joins in, taking out the enemy queen. The giant bomb is there, freezing the monolith, freezing the town hall as the queen can path her way in towards the town hall. But we have a defensive rage waiting for him. And we're moving our way in. RC ability goes off. There's the rage. More balloons coming down. We're going to have to pop the warden ability. Do we find a tornado trap somewhere? He continues to make his way. There's the tornado trap. More red air bumps, a ton of red air bumps at the top side, but he's got a lot of loose hasted to move around and he's going to get this. He was able to keep the queen alive and Morio gets the three star here. A very nice job right there. Brilliant. GG, my friend. That is a three star answer from Navi. Man, they're making this look easy. How do they do it? Wow. Mammoth is in, aka Hawk. And he's got Super Archers. Super Archers will be used. Starting with that Yeti in front of the Flame Flinger. Drops an Earthquake. Damages the Mortar so that it can go down faster from this Flame Flinger. Drops an Archer. Uh oh. Uh oh. He can't have this. Oh, oh. The Flame Flinger is going to take some shots. Or at least one. Does it take a second shot? Hopefully not. No, only one shot. Okay. That's good. As we are starting with this Warden off to the right side. Drops the healers. Wants that Flame Flare to go for the Town Hall. Or will it go to the Cannon next? It's moving in. It is going for the Cannon. Warden, what are you going to go for? You're going to drop the Ice Comb. Drops the Queen. And he's going in. He's not waiting. Electro Titans. Super Archers. They'll be able to reach over the wall. Or around it as they walk through. As they're continuing to push through. There's a jump over the eagle. Rocket loons come out of here. Super minions. Queen actually walks around the wall. She's walking her way into the multi. Flame Flinger is going to work onto the town hall now. As the king's coming to the bottom side. The town hall is hitting these super archers. Did he drop these super archers too quick? Or did he come too close to the town hall? As he is working onto the monolith. It's trying to go down. It does. As these super archers, unfortunately, were getting picked off by the town hall. But we do have some more super archers in the core. Taking out that scatter shot. They're going to try to take the jump. They are reaching over while the king's running down south. Royal champion can join down there. 
But he freezes up the scatter. He frees up the enemy queen. He takes down the enemy queen. Healers don't know what they want to do. Queen is stuck behind some walls. Typical queen. Warden's dying. He's dead. And the queen is going to go to the bottom. As we got an Electro Titan coming out of that Flame Flinger. With that king going down south, Royal Champ's trying to join in. We got a freeze. We got RC ability. The Yeti's tanking the ground expo. He's got to get close. Close to it. We got that. Oh, the Frosty was on the king. There's no Phoenix in this attack. As the RC can pop her ability, but there's still a lot left with these ground expos. At least this ground expo is tanked on the scatter or on the Electro Titan. Queen can reach the ground expos, help this Royal Champion, but she doesn't have ability. He's got to freeze. He freezes that up. Giant Bomb kills the Royal Champion just like that. And unfortunately, that Queen not taking the jump initially. She walks into this compartment, not around it. Kazuma is up next for Navi with a Queen charge, Lalo, but he's got a bat. Wait, it's a Skelly Donut. Because there's no poison spell. So he drops the queen. He's going to let the queen do her thing. And then he's going to take out the clan castle. But he makes it invisible. Um, uh, 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 um, uh. Kazuma? Oh. Do you, can he still take it? Myleth is going down. Can the CC still go down? Oh, it does! After making it invisible, he's still able to get it. And it, yeah, not maxed as well. Still able to get it. There is no builders luckily repairing it. So he kind of looked out there as he freezes the enemy queen, rages up his queen to keep her going. And it looks like the queen may pat. Where's he going? Oh, okay. It goes for the wizard tower first. Will, okay, she walks around. You need to have a plan for the scatter shot. What's the plan? Hurry up. The healer's gonna get hit. Healers! Oh! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Healers gonna get hit by the scatter. Be careful! Oh, oh, the scatter target onto him? No! Oh. The unicorn gets hit, pops queen ability, takes out the king, and the queen continues to walk left and stays out of range of the scatter, just like that. Okay. Well, the queen's walking left, raises the Grand Warden. The ground expo is raised up. He can't keep... Um, okay. Sends the blimp, finds a seeking air mine. Healers fly straight over the, the scatter shot. And we've got... Okay, he went with... Did he go super miners in here? Yeah, he's going super miners for the town hall. He made them invisible, secures it with the explosion of the super miners and here comes a balloons into the multi and he can try to maybe send the rc into this but we have a defensive rage over there and at this point he's just going for percentage he's got to get more th than what hawk got which i think was like an 86 as much percentage as possible already popped that warden ability didn't protect the headhunters in the warden there's a bunch of red air bombs and I'm thinking a lot of red air bombs are now being used around town halls because of super minions. As the headhunters tried to clear the RC, was not able to do it. His RC is running to the top side scatter. And drops a couple of wall breaks. But my guess is maybe the queen did not go exactly where he wanted. Maybe he wanted the queen to go to the scatter. I don't know. Curious. This is looking like it's going to get a lower percentage. 76. 77. If he's got time for any more buildings. 78. 79. And not an 80. Which means that we are going to have an advantage potentially in percentage. Oh, never mind. It's exactly tied on average destruction percentage. Demo. Good luck. Demo's got himself a Lalo. It's, every attack has been Lalo. And it doesn't matter what town hall you are. Lalo is one of the strongest attacks in the game. And one of the most reliable if you know what you're doing. As he's taking out the clan castle. The monolith. The multi-target inferno. The next invis is down. Secures all three. Well done. 
Very nice. As the Yeti's off to the left. And with the wizard behind, Baby Dragon finds two Teslas on the outside. And we got that king, but no healers on here. So it is a Skelly Donut, straight up Lalo here. As that king with some giants are moving their way in. And if this king funnels, he can get this queen to go towards the eagle and maybe even into this multi if she walks around. But there's no wall breaker, so she... But she could reach it if she steps into there. King trying to clear this right side. Or the bottom here. Pops the ability. Needs to take out these Teslas to bring this queen up to the eagle. But it might not happen. She... Oh, she does. Okay, so she does go to the eagle. But we got raised up Expos. And she's going to have to force ability here, unfortunately. Pops it. And she might not get this multi like you wanted to. The Expo goes down. Sends the RC. So his RC will go for the multi at this point. And here comes Alalo. He's not waiting. As Alalo's coming in to fly over this town hall. Finding a couple traps. Has a stone slammer to use. Taking out the defensive rage. The next hound's down. And here comes that warden. RC. He's at least flying away from the sweepers. RC's working on the multi. Oh, one more shot. Yes, he gets that multi, which is clutch. Finds a bunch of red air bombs near this town hall as he continues his way through. There's the rage. Or he hastes. He's going to pop the warden ability. These balloons, unfortunately, do take it down, but they're going to be sitting right inside of this Town Hall Poison, and they are going to go down fast. As we got Headhunters into the Enemy Queen, taking her down. They get almost one shot, but the Queen is dead. We have a Dragon Rider and Balloons flying around, but the Scatter and the Multi are still up. And the Red Air Bombs around the Town Hall did some work there with Minions, Lava Pups around... Very nice try. As he's going to try to get every little bit of percentage here. Archers can clear the rest. Oh no, the expo hit, hit him. But the warden works through that multi-target inferno. And getting every bit of percentage. So, as it's a 92% here for demo. Nice try. Stars is up. Can he bring in three stars? You can take... Okay. He takes out the multi, the uh, Grand Warden Altar, and then he Earthquakes far to the left so that the Builder Hut will have to go repair this Expo first, potentially, because this Eagle is low health. It is now going back to this Eagle. He could get an... Oh, the Log Launcher. He wants the Logs to snipe the Eagle Artillery. Is it going to be able to successfully do that? Let's see. As the ground expo. Oh, oh, the logs are trying, but the multi target inferno is doing work. It's trying, it's trying. He's unable to take it down. He does have the Electro Titan to move in, takes these archers down with ease, drops the poison spell, trying to work on it. Oh, it's staying up here. At least he's going to be able to take care of this CC with ease here. And the Electro Titan is actually killing the eagle. And the Eagle goes down to the Electro Titan circle there. As the Royal Champion is now coming to the bottom side. Whoa. Look at the value here. The Log Launcher did its job. The Queen can... Well, she's dead. As we got the RC making its way into the multi. We got the Rage spell is there. Lalo's coming around. Freezes that. Headhunters kill this King. Freezes the Town Hall. The Rage spell. Red Air Bombs are here. More red air bombs. Freezes. Seeking air mines. Those red air bombs disappeared. Headhunter goes into the enemy queen. As he continues this push around. Raw champion gets locked down to by the monolith. Uh oh, he's got six more. He drops the skeleton spell onto the monolith near that queen. We got balloons flying around. The lava house taken up top. Haste his way into the scatter to continue to move through. That queen just needs to get hit by like the owl or something. He could freeze her. He's got one more balloon. Expo will go down. He freezes that queen. She will go down. Down she goes. And Stars indeed gets the three stars here. Stars. Really nice attack. Breaking this space down. Able to snipe that eagle with the log launcher combination of the lightning spells. Very nice hit. Make it look so beautiful but when we try to do it it's just not like it oh great hit from stars elec 
is in now for Vienna, and they need to triple. With a flame flinger to the left, queen down south into that multi. It's the queen charge, Lala. Is this queen's picking this bottom section off? Healers are now deployed out of range of the multi target inferno. Sneaky's trying to take down some storage just to help push this queen in. Oh, rage, rage, headhunter. Ow, ow, ow. One hit from the king could cause her ability to go off. No, the rage able to heal this queen back up. Oh, but this door is just not go down. Queen's trying to st step her way in. He's out of sneaky goblins. Will she go in? Flame flinger is to the left. The queen does indeed step in. He wall breaks the town hall. And she locks onto it now. Drops a balloon, finds a red air bomb. So the Tesla won't go down. Where are you going to go, queen? This Tesla farm is going to change the pathing of this queen. Walking around the town of poison, which is good. Skeletons popping, more balloons. That monolith onto the queen, so he freezes. And that king's going into the enemy raw champion. He's got the his RC to use. Pops the queen ability. He makes the queen invisible, so the queen passes away to the monolith. What? That king came back alive. The enemy queen locks onto the flame flinger. And we got barbarians, a headhunter, electro titan. He's going to kill this queen as he continues this charge straight on in. A very nice pathing from this queen. But unfortunately, the queen does, does get locked onto the hound as the headhunter is hitting her. He's going to have to rage her up or he's just going to lose her. Nope, he loses her. As he warden abilities... Tries to get through this court, but there's double sweepers here, which is definitely what he wanted the queen to go for. So he's getting pushed back left and right, and there's a ton of traps. The RC is going to pop this hound. Losing that queen hurt so much as the hound pops. This queen was going to take out both those sweepers, so those balloons did not get pushed back. Oh, rip. The angle of the headhunters coming out. Took out that queen. And bye-bye, Isle, as it's a 92% two-star. The man, the myth, the legend, Klaus is in. Is he going to be a thumbnail-worthy attack? I guess we'll find out. What is he going to do? He must two-star for the victory. Or maybe a, a one-star percentage could do it. We'll have to see it. I believe so. Just don't know the percent that they need. As a Yeti is down south. Gonna clear this area. And the Flame Flinger is gonna go for the multi. Gonna try to clear this. He's got a Dragon Rider as well. Archer Tower goes down. He's gonna do Skeleton Donut onto the Clan Castle. Onto the multi target Inferno. He's taking it down. Very nice. And CC. Come on, you gotta go down, CC. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. CC is secured. Very nice so far. When it when that doesn't happen, it's a it hurts, man. It hurts when that CC stays up. But look at this. He's pathing this king into the eagle artillery, while the queen and a golem are going into the enemy queen. A tassel farm pops to the right side over here, but that multi-target inferno goes down. Drops the royal champion as well. King's ability goes off, so he's going to run and secure the, the eagle. This queen can actually path her way and get some very nice value. Right towards here, the king will come back alive. And it depends on what's inside this flame flinger. Maybe it's a golem or something. No, he drops rocket loose to take out this Tesla farm. Because that queen can continue her push all the way to here. But she won't get to the town unless you... Oh, wait, there is an opening in the wall. Never mind. Defensive race to the top side goes off. Defensive rage near the town hall goes off. Makes the queen invisible. She can secure... Look at the... How does he get this value? Out comes Rackaloos and a dragon runner. Uses a freeze. Oh, the, the defensive king. What is he doing? Queen needs to go secure the town hall. Here comes the Lalo. And he pops the ability. And he gets this queen all the way to the town hall. Secures it. Secures the second star. Wow. Look at him. As he continues his way through... He freezes the multi, continues this push, has eight more balloons to use. Freezes the multi yet again. There's probably a bunch of red air bombs near the town hall, which is typically now being used because of super minions. As he's securing this area and plenty of balloons here. And Klaus is back, tripling yet again, crushing this base.
Well done. Very, very nice attack here. And they will definitely be victorious in this match. El Tano's in to close this one off. All right, with the lightning spells, taking out the multi, the eagle, this whole core. That's a lot taken out here. A lot indeed. As we got a bowler bounce, taking out the king platform. That's probably why he went with the bowlers. Take out the king pather platform for funneling. As this queen's going to path her way into the town hall. At least attempting to. There's a headhunter under the defensive king. Out of range of the ground expo. King into the defensive queen. Will... Ooh, the Eddie might grab the arch tower. So the king is not going to go for the scatter shot here. But he can send RC for it. Queen can walk into this town hall. But she says, no thank you. She does not want to do it. So he sends the raw champion in. Pulls the CC of Rocket Loons. A Lava Hound. This queen ain't getting this town hall. She's going to go for the Rocket Loons next. Uh-oh. Rip, she's going to go for the Builder Hut? Yep. She is not pathing to this town hall. Pulls the Poison spell. Pops Queen ability. RC ability goes off. At this point, I would just lolo from this, right? Yeah, I would just end on the town hall. Because you know you can't win. But at the end of the day, you do want to get as many stars as possible because it could play a role as a tiebreaker. As the stone slammer is going into the town hall, the queen does path back to it. So he could help take that down. But I'm, now I think he dropped that stone slammer too early. Earlier than he... Well, I don't know if the queen would have actually gotten that stone slammer help there. As the warden ability does go off. Out comes the balloons. The dragon rider from the stone slammer. He's pathing his way into the enemy RC. He's got a couple headhunters, three of them. He can drop some balloon on the wizard tower, the cannon. Hound flies directly over here. The lava pups going to the royal champion. Headhunters running across. Scattershot's been killed. Headhunters make it to the RC, taking her down. As the balloons continue through, he drops one balloon for this single. This one balloon. Actually, I was going to say this one balloon might make all the difference, but the stone slammer already went there. Would have pulled any of the red air bombs anyways. As he continues to fly through, this owl can get some chain if they go for the single. Okay, okay, the okay. There's a sinking air mine. Owl gets some chain. It's taking it down. It's taking it down. Very nice. Single secured. Hello. We've got a couple. We got a goblin. The multi mortar will kill it as he gets approaches. But this air defense will be too much. It's going to be in the 90s. Bye bye, goblin. Warden's going to get picked off here. A nice try to tell Tano, but unfortunately, it is not going to get it done. As it's only going to be the two star here for Altano to finish this one off. Which means that Navi are going to be victorious 14 to 11 here in the Champions War League. Congrats to Navi on winning this match and advancing to the playoffs. The top eight teams that advance the double elimination playoffs include Tribe Gaming. VN Esporting, Clash Champs, Entropy, Time to Throw, ETX, Bedzinger, Navi, and ETX Sports.